Hello. Uh, just sitting here in the living room. And, uh, it's pretty late. I just kind of began to feel into the idea. Releasing, you'll probably hear what I'm sitting on making noise. Releasing my structure into the support of something else. Now I won't be able to do this fully because my, well, maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I could try something here. Uh, I was going to say I couldn't do it because I'd be holding the camera, so I'd be keeping support there. But once again, I'll try my patented lean the camera on something unplanned <laughs> and see if uh, we can make any sense of it. Let's see if uh, something like this works. Leaning it on this little tray of little tray of herbs here. Which I'm moving so that I can hold the camera up. Yeah. So, if uh, my uh, trusty bottle of water here. So, you know, I'm sitting here in uh, pretty good structure, which is the, the usual kind of standard default way to do it. But when this one's got a little bit more light, I don't know if that'll have much difference. But uh, gradually and consciously, purposefully, giving over the support and also psychologically, emotionally, the support of my structure. And so this becomes a pattern, a felt experience of relinquishing control and so I'm just you know even now so I've let a lot of my body into the support of the seat here but not all of it like I'm still holding my head up I'm still holding my upper body up I still haven't fully you probably can't see much but I haven't really released my arms that much so I'm just going to continue and I'm sort of following a process from you know, feet to the top of the head. And so I'm not planning where my body goes, I'm not aiming it, so there's no sort of control in terms of the plan and directionality. I'm really just trusting that there will be support for the structure. There's no requirement that I uh, develop and sustain my own support. So, so I'm just slowly just letting that happen. And then I probably appear to have left most of my support. Hey, there you go, buddy. Yeah, and now that I'm not holding myself up, I'm supporting somebody else. This is uh, level two of this uh, now advanced meditation practice. <laughs> we uh, very frequently can tell when I'm meditating, and I'll come over, which you guys may have noticed that you follow these videos. Hey, Saki. And so. Once I've gone through the initial sort of toes to top of head, release of control into support by something else. You know, so the chair, the, the floor, uh, the earth, or some combination, depending on how the body lays. Then I'm, then I'm returning uh, to the same process. I'm returning to the feet and then the legs and then the butt and then the torso and uh, 
the emotional components that go along with those parts of the body as well. And, you know, the shoulders and the arms and the head and the, the eyelids. Uh, I'm not quite getting fully into that place because I'm talking. And, you know, in this case, I'm petting the cat and looking at you. Uh, but in going through that process, you know, I'll end up, you know, releasing the roof of the mouth and the tongue and the eyelids. And so I, you know, may very well end up drooling as, you know, the support, you know, becomes available um, from outside the self. And one of the important facets of this is that the support outside the self is not um, tested it's a little bit more leap of faith than uh, you know probing the uh, the snow in front of you with your ski uh, pole to see if it'll support you. It's really just taking that step uh, and allowing something below you to support you when you release into it. Yeah, you gonna hang out or are you gonna tape off? You're welcome to tape off if you want. It's okay. And so, uh, once I've gone through that initially from toes to head top, then I'll repeat the process, um, which may just kind of confirm that everything's been released, but often uh, there is some version of initial release, but not really a complete release. And so when I return, sort of uh, like proofreading yourself, you say, oh, I kind of released that area, but not exactly you know, my butt is still tight a little, or, or what have you, or my arm hasn't really released. I, I've actually been holding the arm up even though my spine fell uh, into the support of the floor. Yeah, it's good to see you, buddy. And so I'll go through that process, that sort of proofreading. After I proofread it, or proofread, if I had proofread, I would have noticed the word proofreading and not said it. Hey, buddy. Um, so after I've done the proofreading, on the next, one of the next cycles, I, uh, I was planning to do, show you this a couple times, but now that the cat's here, I'm not going to disturb them and sit back up and re-collapse. Uh, if I had, you would likely have seen me sort of collapse in a different uh, direction or, you know, kind of end up in a different end state. Uh, and practice this with Saki where we can figure out how to help them actually lay down from a sitting and we can try to give them this little encouragement like this and we can start to curl in his legs settle in there he goes yeah there he goes yeah and so after I've done the proofreading Then I'll return, and it isn't really just the spine or anything, or has that released, or, or has that not released. But I'll find everything is released into support outside the self-developed structure. And then I'll deepen the release. And so I'll consider, you know, the bones rested, the connective tissue released. Was it just the muscles? Is there an emotional release in that area? You know, so the whole thing might literally be carried uh, in terms of its weight and some being supported by something external, but maybe emotionally it's still uh, holding on, holding on to itself, holding itself into a certain you know, shape or position. There you go, Saki. There you go. Right. You want to settle in? There you go. That's how he does it. Yeah. 
good for you. Good for you. That's good. You got to see him come in and settle too. Unless you want to come back over here and try again. And so then I'll go through that toe to head top uh, deepening, looking at the different versions of releasing that I can do. It could be that the way that I'm breathing the way that I'm thinking is in part due to the way in which I'm holding myself in a place, in a way, in an aspect. Hey buddy. Yeah, thank you for joining us for the meditation. Yeah. Yeah. Here, as you go settle down. Yeah, you could do a little demonstration of how you do it. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Here he goes. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for joining us.